for some time on Wall Street Confidential. We've been telling you where are some safe, hidden places in this market where a lot of people are putting their market, and particularly we've talked about natural gas, agriculture, minerals. Jim Cramer, I welcome you to the show yep. now because you know I think a lot of investors out there they look at these stock prices of of you know um, of some of these ag names mm -hmm. and they think it's just too hot, too expensive. I can't get in right now. How well, much you know, higher can you it know, go? I, I would tell you, and I know that this is uh, part of the thinking that people typically um, retail people don't really understand, and I want them to understand that I'm not being flip, and I I am certainly not being uh, um, condescending. But I look for two kinds of things. I look for companies that are doing well, and I look for stocks that are doing well. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times those are different, okay? The companies that are doing the best right now are agriculture, um, oil and gas, gold, and minerals. Those are the companies that are doing the best. Their stocks all reflect 100% of that and more so, which is why it's possible for their stocks to really get hammered here. Um, if you look at companies and stocks at this, as if they are the same, then you would say, well, hold it, Jim, you got to buy these. And what I'm saying is, no, look, the companies themselves are going to make their earnings and then some because of a lot of things that are happening. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean the stocks are a buy. In period, but what I do think is, is that when the market comes down, everything gets hit. So then you got to say, okay, well, what's going to bounce best after they get hit? And the answers will be, Oil and gas, ag, I mean, these will because I think that their earnings estimates are too low. So, in other words, they're going down too. Mm -hmm. Okay? I mean, I'm not saying they won't go down. I'm not saying you, can, you can't hide in any stock. You can't. Other than dividend stocks where you know the dividend is going to be fine because of how low cash is yielding. I am simply saying that these stocks are dreadful like all other stocks. But the companies underneath are not dreadful, unlike a lot of the other companies out there. And there's more of a future, you think, for them, not right. just this year, but... That's but. all, because these are these are multi-year moves by mm -hmm. multi-year companies. Now, people would say, and I, I again, I mentioned Helene Meisler, um, our chartist. She was saying, well, Jim, how do you know these aren't the four horsemen? How do you know they're not Apple? You know, which I gave up sure. on at the beginning of the year. I said, listen, we made great money in Apple. And, well, these are all supply constraint. Like, Apple is not supply constraint. They can make all, it was at one point, they can make all the iPods they want, all the iPhones they want. Uh, Google is not supply constraint. They can make as much inventory mm -hmm. as they want. You know, the companies that I'm talking about are currently supply constrained. We haven't found a lot of oil and gas. There's a lot of good articles today about how even the Gulf of Mexico, there's just not a lot of oil anymore. We, um, we don't have enough land to plant. We don't have enough um, food. I mean, these are all supply demand. De uh, not demand driven. The demand side happens to be all very good for mm -hmm. them, but uh, I like situations where both the demand is uh, is off the charts and supply is constrained, and that was not the case with the Four Horsemen. So when you're looking at what's going to bounce, I say go back to this group. If you think this group's not going to go down, I think you have to have your head examined. All right. Love stocks that have some room is the right. name of the column. Thank you very much, Jim Kramer on Real Money. This is the Street.com TV. Don't go away. That's your action point. Take advantage of it.